Today we're continuing our CB150X ride to Mount Bromo from Bali with the CB150X Adventure Indonesia Bali community. Though we were tired from the all night ride, we found the energy to play with our bikes in the sand around the volcano and interact with the locals and the tourists who are visiting the same area from all over Indonesia. Who's the teacher again? You're the teacher. At times it seemed like every Asian tourist in the area wanted a picture with the only bule in sight. And this is common for a Western tourist while visiting a part of Southeast Asia which doesn't receive many non-Asian tourists. They want to take pictures with you. You want pictures? No. No? Okay, I guess not all of them want a picture with a boule. Sometimes they just like to stare and point at me. Sunday, we awoke at 2 a.m. so we could see the beautiful sunrise over the volcano. It's cold. Oh, wow. The fog didn't clear as well as we had hoped, but it was still worth it. Otherwise. After watching the sunrise, we had breakfast and waited for a truck to pick up a motorcycle from our group. The bike's clutch had stopped working, so before we go home, we'll need to wait for the clutch to be replaced. Hello. <laughs> That's close. While waiting on the clutch to be replaced, we decided to take one more ride through the sand at the base of the volcano. Now previous to this bike tour, I had zero experience riding a motorcycle in deep sand. I'd like to blame my poor riding performance on the street tires, but after seeing several locals riding scooters with street tires through the sand with a lot more confidence and skill than I was showing, I determined what I need most is more experience in this type of terrain and better tires. You're the teacher. <laughs> This is her, this I is suppose her. I have students <laughs> The English class that interviewed me today. That's a compliment. <laughs> and now, it's time to laugh as you watch me try to keep up with all the local riders in my CB150X community. In my opinion, the people in Southeast Asia ride much too aggressively. However, in order to keep up with the group, I decided to adjust my riding style a little bit. Riding a bike as you navigate traffic in Southeast Asia is much different than riding in the West. Now don't go away yet. As we're about to land, the ferry hits something which almost causes all the motorcyclists to fall over. Let's get off this crazy day. <laughs> <laughs> 